this heinous crime did not take place in a vacuum. Over the past 10 days, Palestinians, Arabs, Muslim Americans have been subjected to a hateful, hostile campaign. Anyone who supports the Palestinian rights and dares to criticize the war crimes that are committed by Israel in the Gaza Strip has become the subject of accusation here in the United States. It is not only the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip who are subjected to this campaign of dehumanization. This also has been extended to us here in the United States. This created an atmosphere of hate and anger. Unfortunately, public officials and our media are acting irresponsible. When you have a president who promotes debunked lies, as in the case of the beheaded Israeli children, and when you have a media, supposedly mainstream media, that also refers to debunked lies, as in the case of raping Israeli women, we should not be surprised when we see crimes are committed against those who speak for the Palestinian rights. It is not about supporting terrorism. It is not about October 7th. History didn't start on October 7th. And no one marched here or spoke on behalf of the Palestinian rights to endorse what happened on October 7th. What we are for is the Palestinian rights. What we are for is the Palestinian plight. What we are for is what the president himself at one point said that they deserve to enjoy equal measures of freedom and dignity, which they have been deprived from for the past seven years. The criminals who perpetrated this crime against Wadiya and his mother is not the person who stabbed him alone. In fact, there is this atmosphere of hatred that is being advanced, that is being promoted by our public officials and by our media. So we call on the president, one, to walk back and to apologize for using debunked stories. He have not apologized yet. The White House walked back that statement by him. But for him to claim that he's seen it with his own eyes and not to apologize for it, that will continue to promote anger and to charge, uh, the, uh, charge bigoted people to commit more crimes. He also needs to come out and state clearly that American people have the right to speak out against Israeli atrocities. When we speak out against Israeli atrocities, we're not joining a so-called day of jihad as the media is trying to portray it. We are standing on principle. We are standing for human rights and the Palestinian people deserve to be afforded and extended the same human rights that we enjoy. This is not something that comes or emanates from the President of the United States or the US government. This is a God-given right. Their humanity it does not need the certification of the President of the United States, Joe Biden. So we want him also to apologize and to say that Americans who are opposed to the Israeli atrocities have the right to speak out have the right to demonstrate and have the right to continue to advance the Palestinian narrative here in America. So we ask our media to be responsible and we ask you to verify your stories before you broadcast them and you write them and we ask you to hold our elected officials and public uh, politicians to hold them responsible and we ask you to hold yourself responsible for the messages that you have been unfortunately advancing and promoting while unverified. Thank you.